Christ is risen. Good Truly morning, is risen. our Saints Constantine and Helen young people. And a happy Mother's Day to your mothers. I hope you treat them very well and special today. So I want to share with you two stories that I heard about children and mothers. We want to honor our mothers and truly thank God for the selfless love, unconditional love, selfless giving that I'm sure your mothers have. Just like my mother had, my wife has, and many of the beautiful mothers I see in our church. So anyway, there's a story of a teacher who's trying to teach her math, a math lesson to her students. And she says, okay, so there's um, a pie. And the pie, there's two parents and three children. So she asks the kids, what part of the pie will you get if there are two parents and three kids? What do you think? Well, this one boy raises his hand and says, I know, I know, I get one fourth. And the teacher said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think you understood the question. There's a pie and there's two parents and three children. So what part, what fraction will you get of the pie? And the boy said, I'll get one fourth. And the teacher said, I'm sorry, I don't think you know your fractions so well. And the boy said, yeah, I do. I know my fractions real well, but you don't know my mother so well. My mother would say, I don't want a piece of the pie, and then allow the rest of us, the four of us, to each have a little bit bigger piece of the pie. Does that sound like your mom? I know that sounds like my mom. That sounds like my wife. They're always ready to sacrifice and give from whatever they have to bless somebody else, bless their children, and not only their children, but many other people. So we want to honor and thank God for our mothers, who, if I say there are a couple virtues that I see in the best of mothers, I see the virtue of unconditional love. A mother will love you no matter what you do. She might get angry at you, she might discipline you, but that not love never leaves. And throughout your life, no matter what we do, our mothers always love us. So the unconditional love. Our mothers give sacrificially. They're always giving and giving and giving more because that's their nature. From the moment that you were born, conceived in their womb and you gave, she gave birth to you, there's been that incredible bond between a mother and her children. And so she's always ready to give and even sacrifice from what she has to give to her children. Another virtue that I see in many mothers is typically it's the mothers who are the people of faith, who come to church, who bring their children to church. Now we have great fathers too. And I, I, I wish the father, all the fathers would be like the mothers, but more often than not, we have more women in church and the women and the mothers especially are the ones who bring their ch children to church, who tell their children Bible stories, who teach the children the traditions of faith, so many times the mothers are the pillars of faith in the family. And we're grateful for that. Mothers, I think, are also people who always see the good in us. Even when we're covered with a lot of bad, they see the good, they know the potential. So I think these are beautiful virtues of our mothers. And we wanna honor your mother today. So make sure you tell your mother how much you love her. Tell your mother three things for what you're very grateful for. Think of three concrete things and say, Mom, I love you so much and I'm so thankful for one, two, three. And if you want to name more, name more. So make this a special day for your mother. So let me end with another story. There's a story one time in church. There was a uh, Sunday school play going on and of course we all know that the play was about Jesus Christ Jesus who's the light of the world and, and so the play was going on the children all had their lines and at one point in the play the one boy forgot his line and all of a sudden he froze and he started to turn red and he didn't know what to do and his mother was sitting in the front row and his mother is trying to mouth to him what his line is and he's not getting it. And then she's trying to gesture what his line is, and he's not getting it, and he's starting to cry. So the mother 
whispers, I am the light of the world. The boy looks at her and his eyes open up wide and he says to everyone, my mother is the light of the world. We know that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, but for many of us, after Jesus Christ, our mothers are the light in our lives, the light of the world. God bless your mothers. God bless my mother. God bless my wife. God bless all the mothers, and not only our mothers, but all the mother figures in our lives today. Let us thank God, our grandmothers, our aunts, all the special women, our godmothers, and all the mother figures in our lives. God bless them all. We thank God for them. Happy Mother's Day, and Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen.